What's up, my brothers from another mother? Got a sponsored request from a subscriber that is asking whether or not he should quit his job. So let's hop straight into this to get some frame around it. Uh, he's been a fan, finds my stuff informative and factual. He lives in Southern United States as in a major Southern Europe metropolitan suburban area, Christian religious views, late twenties, has a bachelor's and some past work experience with government. So his question is, for the purpose of the video, should I quit my current job? He's a healthcare admin role with part with full-time benefits uh, in the roughly two and a half years since he's had the job. As soon as I hear full-time benefits, I automatically think, and anybody that's you know worked in, in government, I, I automatically think safe, secure, not playing to win, but playing not to lose. Um, you can get benefits anywhere. You can create a business and get benefits for yourself. So this should not be what's holding or tying you down to what you're doing. For some people, they, you know, they get handcuffed to something because they absolutely need it because of sick care and medications and diabetes and all that sort of stuff. I'm guessing you're not there because it sounds like you're a little bit younger and you got things or got some awareness anyway. Anyway, there's been three managers in the two and a half years since you've been in the job. The experience has been interesting given that everyone in the department, but myself is a woman, mostly middle age, he says. One is my red pilled wingman. So it's him and a friend there. The rest I can I can tell for sure. Uh, the rest I can't tell for sure. Okay, regardless, day-to-day -day experience has been working mostly quietly in the background. My, most of them complain about their marriages and small talk. Uh, it has felt like a background character in a sitcom. That's got to be interesting for you. Since all other things being equal, I usually get more accomplished. Have had most of them subconsciously take out their marriage issues on me here and there. An important insight I won't forget in the future, feel free to use this material. Okay. After subscribing to your channel three years ago, I figured out the long term that in the long term entrepreneurship in the late thirties and forties is something I'd like to try per one of your previous videos. Uh, the specific industry is something I'm still figuring out. I'm figuring out a rough path to experience that would include management along with possible PR and sales positions as well have done in men work. You might want to get into some sales roles for a while or PR if that's something that you need some experience with because it men and sales is two very different things. Uh, it's It's got to be like as a side note, dude, it's got to be exhausting for you to be in a work environment where it feels like you're in a sitcom and these middle aged women are complaining about their marriages or taking out their grievances on you. Um, I, I don't know how you could do that for two and a half years. I'd lose my mind. The reason why I tend to quit is due to the toxic work environment. I get that. Relatively low pay based on going market rate and extremely limited upward mobility. I say this as a top performer in the company. However, due to some mental health issues from a breakdown I had several years ago, I had some hesitation in doing so without something lined up. Recovered significantly. Don't let your don't let your wounds, you know, hold you back, right? Uh, this should if you've got it dealt with, move past it. Um, nobody cares, right? Uh, I can tell that I'm outgrowing the position and need something better in the long term for success. Was thinking management the best. Unfortunately, again, there's limited upward mobility. Okay, so you're wasting your time in this company basically is what you're saying. Please let me know if, if you think this would be a good move or not. Also, logical path as an employee to get the experience needed for entrepreneurship. It sounds like as an, as an administrator, you don't have what you need quite yet. Two and a half years would give you some insight to what's going on in the business and potential opportunities in that field that you can monetize or solutions that you can apply to it, um, you know, to make some money to create a business or a vendor or a service provider or something like that. Um, but if you don't have any sales experience, that's certainly helpful. You also need marketing experience. You need to know how to market yourself. So I'm not sure if you can get that as an administrator in this medical field. Unfortunately, again, there's limited upward. Okay. So move logical paths. Uh, a logical path might be to move into another field in the company or maybe uh, like a parallel move if you can get into sales because uh, because that that part is going to be quite useful to you as you're running a business. You need to know how to, you know, get out there and pitch what it is that you've, you know, that you've got a solution to. Um, typical employees only have to quit job once, typical high school due to focus on work. So you've only quit a job once. On a separate note, there's a friend of mine that works as a cameraman. Oh, okay, so... Uh, only if he's in Toronto, tell him to message me. I, I don't need anybody from the South. Uh, video response. Okay, so, and anonymous. All right, so we're keeping that in on the down low as far as the other details. Pretty straightforward. 
if you've worked in this company for two and a half years, you see no upward mo mobility. They've had three managers during that time. That's fallen apart. You're listening to people bitch and complain about their lives. You're not getting much done. You're not learning anything. It sounds like you're punching a clock. You've got your red pill wingman. You guys have your conversations. At the end of the day, um, you're basically dying a slow death. I had a conversation with a friend of mine uh, a few weeks ago at a pool party, and he works at an automotive plant. So let's just say that he's, you know, he works for one of the major um, plants here in Southern Ontario that puts together vehicles. And, um, you know, I asked him how he liked it and what it was like, and he'd been there for a long time. And he said, well, I've only got six more years and I'm done. And he's just in his thirties, which, you know, I asked him, so like, what are you going to do? He goes, well, I've got my full pension by that time. So I'm going to get the hell out of there. And I asked him, so does it feel like, like, what do you do during the day when you're there? And it's like, you know, between this time and this time I do this between this time and this time I do that. So he's basically got two to three tasks during the day. And I could just tell that he wasn't loving it. And I was asking him after that, does it feel like you're dying a slow death? To which he answered, yes. If it feels like you're dying a slow death in what it is you're doing for a living, you're basically living paycheck to paycheck. You're lining the employer's pocket with gold and you're really getting nothing back in return. Uh, I would never tell anybody to work any job where they feel unfulfilled. I think it's a colossal waste of your own life. As far as we know, when we're dead, we're dead, we're in the ground, and that's it, six feet under, we're done. If there's a bonus round after that, cool, awesome, let's go play it. But why would you want to live this life unfulfilled? Why? I get that my friend wants to do his six more years to get his full pension, but he's got plans after that to create his own thing. But if you're in something like this where you have, you know, my benefits and the pay is just like mediocre and you're listening to people complain, get out of there, man. Um, I don't know if you're ready to start up your own business, if you got the know-how, if you got a solution. It doesn't sound like you have a solution by the way that you're describing your uh, request, but find something that is um, complementary to the experience that you have right now so you can broaden your scope of knowledge. Uh, whether it's in marketing or sales, those two are quite useful. I'd recommend medical sales or something to do with marketing in that profession. Um, I think the way the North American population is going, there's always going to be a big demand for um, medicine and things that facilitate um, wellness. I mean, the problem with North America, in my view, is that, that, you know, we spend too much time on prescriptions and, you know, take this pill and lose 20 pounds in a week or rub this cream under your eye and look like Brad Pitt in one week sort of thing. Everybody wants facts, fast and easy fixes and nobody's willing to do the work. So there's always going to be a, a big demand in that profession, in that field. So my advice to you, probably get a little bit more experience in the um, sales and marketing side of things. Uh, plan your exit strategy. Get the hell out of there. Don't let those toxic women drag you down or, you know, drain your batteries listening to their nonsense. Try to limit it as much as possible. It, it sounds like you've got that under control. Um, yeah, but I hope that helps and that's useful. And um, yeah, thanks for making the request. See you guys in the next video. Peace.